everyone just was talking about we love that Lamar is just not taking any shit from anybody anymore, right? He's just kind of letting it be. That yeah. includes his own teammates. Right. And in this case, after the Ravens got the victory against the Dallas Cowboys on the plane, Marlon Humphrey went live. Lamar Jackson, eh, well, let's just say he called out Marlon Humphrey in a couple ways here. Let's play that clip for you. Lamar, 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 talk, Lamar, talk to us a little bit about about getting that first, about getting that first up. Talk to us a little bit. You know, the flock, they got to hear from you. You know what I mean? They got to hear from you. Got the dub. Keep stacking. Keep stacking. We shouldn't even arrive right now. We need to be right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You straight though? How you feeling? You got a lot of drip on, low key. How you feeling, man? No, no, that's. How you feeling, bro? You straight? Good. You dropped that order. pick, too. That would have, it was a flag anyway, though. I don't care. But Remember how they made a post? Oh, Marlon picked up Lamar four times. And you get in the game, and you dropped him. <laughs> ah, ah, that's why I was throwing him in practice. Bro, he, he took it out of my hand. See, he literally, like, low key. Either way, it was a flag. I should have, I didn't squeeze it, I didn't squeeze it, I didn't squeeze it, I didn't squeeze it, Marlo, y'all boy, y'all boy, y'all boy solid, I rock with y'all too. He didn't squeeze it, he didn't squeeze it, so if you heard the line earlier, the end it was <laughs> Lamar saying, well, hey, you can't get that pick, and it was called back for a penalty, but Marlon did drop it, but it was not going to count if he did catch it, but then Lamar was saying, well, we got that tweet going out there that you picked me off four times in practice, and you can't catch the one that matters, that's yeah. kind of what he's getting to. Yep. And then earlier, if you heard him say, you know, we got a lot of work to do, you shouldn't even be live right now. And I know it's kind of all like, ha-ha, jokes aside, like it's all fun and games. I think Lamar's kind of serious. Yeah. I think he's like, hey, get the hell out of my face type of response there. But vibes are better. Ravens won the game. Lamar seems just locked in. But I like this Lamar, man. Me I too. like that he yep. is comfortable. And for the longest time, he was just kind of staying under the radar, putting his head down. He's putting his head down and work, but he's not afraid to say things now to really anybody about who he is, what his mindset is, and he's not going to let anybody walk on over him. Over him, and He's not going to even – he'll get the last laugh even with his teammates. So I thought that that was uh, – I thought that that was good. I thought yeah. that was good. Yeah, I, I mean, it's one of those things I've seen people online talking about it, that uh, Marlo does that after every victory, and uh, – Lamar has not talked like once on any of them. So it's not shocking that Lamar didn't say, but it is the stuff like, Hey, we shouldn't be like, because Hey, if they would have won 35 to six, 42 to six, it would have been a very different Lamar Jackson vibe on that plane. But I think Lamar yeah. in his head was like, Hey, you we were, escaped. You like this, three was, in the like, fourth quarter, this bro. was not a, Oh, we, we went out there. We kicked ass. We're having fun on the plane. It's like, we had our shot, and then it got way more interesting than it should have because you could tell post-game press conference, everything. Nobody was well, happy about that. Win. No, no. Well, Lamar like, was frustrated. He was, be. and he even said, he goes, we felt like we took the, our foot off the gas. That's how yep. he felt. And I think that's probably how the team felt is we dominated this game, but here it was, we're fighting for the last drive to, to put it away. Hey, good thing is they put the game away. But the other part is – it just leaves it a little bit more bitter. But you know what? That could be a good thing. Be a little bit bitter coming to play Buffalo, who, by the way, tonight, guys, they're trying to stay undefeated. It's got a double-decker here of games. Bills, Jags, Commanders, Bengals. Mm -hmm. I think being pissed off playing Buffalo could be the best thing in a game where Ravens and Buffalo's had some really good games, and unfortunately for Baltimore recently, hasn't been the result that they've wanted. They actually were talking about blowing games. Remember that game in Baltimore? Baltimore had the 17-point lead. Mm -hmm. Yep, lost that game to Buffalo in Baltimore. Finished the game out, but Buffalo looks like a team you're going to possibly see down the road. And obviously, you're trying to catch up now with the three and zero Steelers.